Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a what's for breakfast for y'all. As you can tell, this is a Halloween themed what's for breakfast. Um, I love doing these. I did one last year as well. They're some of my favorite videos to do because we love Halloween and I like doing them because it makes my kids happy. Like they love this kind of thing. So today I have one super cute Halloween breakfast idea and two kind of creepy and gross Halloween breakfast idea. This year my kids are really into the gross aspect of Halloween so I'm really embracing that but I did want to include a cute one because I know everybody doesn't love the gross and last year's um, what's for breakfast that was Halloween themed was all cute ideas so I will leave that link down below as well if you didn't see that last year there are some great ideas in that one. My kids have actually requested that I make some of those again this year. So that is on the plan for this year as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into these recipes. For the first recipe, you're just gonna start off by cooking whatever oatmeal you choose. I had this pumpkin spice oatmeal from Dollar Tree. It was very good. And so I just cooked it according to the box directions. I actually cooked all five packs for my whole family. So it was $1 for this box um, to feed my family breakfast. And I made it with oat milk instead of water or regular milk. And I just heated that up on the stove. Once my milk was hot, I added in my oatmeal, let it thicken, and then I put it in each bowl. So what's gonna make this oatmeal special is what we're gonna put on top of it. So just gonna start by peeling a banana and then we're gonna cut it in half and then we're gonna cut those halves in half so that we have like flat pieces and each one kind of like has that like curved head of the ghost. And then I'm going to take some mini chocolate chips and take the pointed side of the chocolate chip and press it into the banana one for each eye and then one for the mouth this worked perfectly i saw somebody online do something similar to this but they just like put pieces of date on the bananas but i thought chocolate chips would work way better and i was right these stayed like pushed into the banana perfectly so to plate this up, I just added those pieces of banana on top of the oatmeal, and then I also added some chocolate granola to the top. The like inspiration up for this came from some like health food blog post, and they had put like chocolate protein powder like at the bottom to look like dirt. Um, I don't think that sounded very good. Like the idea of just like protein powder sprinkled over the oatmeal did not sound good to me. So we went with chocolate granola and this is delicious. The kids absolutely loved this. They've never had bananas in their oatmeal and since having this breakfast, they have asked for banana in their oatmeal three more times. This turned out super cute and I think it's perfect for maybe like the younger kids who aren't into like the creepy, scary, gross side of Halloween. We absolutely love this. Let me know down below if you plan on trying it. This next one is super easy and I love super easy. We're making the intestine cinnamon rolls. I'm using these jumbo pumpkin rolls from Aldi. There's only five in here, which was perfect for my family because it was just for me and the kids. So you're just gonna take them and like unroll the cinnamon rolls and put them in your pan or on your baking sheet, whatever you're using. Since there's only five five in this one I decided to use this just like square glass baking dish and I did grease it beforehand but if you're using like a larger pack of cinnamon rolls or making more I would suggest using a rimmed sheet pan for that and as I said you're just gonna kind of like squiggle them throughout the whole pan fill it up and make it look like intestines and then you just want to bake this according to the package directions while that was baking, I took the icing packet that came with the cinnamon rolls and squeezed it out into a little bowl. And mine was obviously like orange because it was the pumpkin flavored one. So it kind of gave me a good start like to turn it red because we want to make this like blood red for our intestines. Um, but you could add food coloring to just the white glaze that it usually comes with and you might just have to add more to get it like a red color instead of a pink. And I would suggest using like the gel food coloring because I get like really good color with that. I was actually out of like the food coloring like drops so I used the gel and it really helped make this a really nice red color. 
when the cinnamon roll intestines came out of the oven, I then spread that glaze all over the top of them. You could add some milk or something to it if you wanted to thin it out a bit. I didn't and it still spread out really nicely, but I have seen some other people add like milk or water to it to thin it out a little bit. I just let it sit for a little bit and the warmth of the cinnamon rolls melted the icing like all over it. If you've ever made cinnamon rolls, you know, if you let them sit for a minute, that icing will literally melt like all over them. My kids thought these cinnamon roll intestines were the greatest thing ever. They could not stop talking about it the whole time they were eating breakfast about how they were eating intestines. It's kind of gross, but also I find it hilarious. To go with it, we just had some scrambled eggs with cheese. I have these food picks that look like little eyes. They said they had little monsters and intestines for breakfast. It was great. It was, it was a laugh and my kids absolutely loved it. So if you plan on trying these or if you've tried them before, let me know down below. Okay, this last breakfast recipe that I am sharing with y'all is for baked eyeball eggs. It's like a potato recipe and then you put eggs on top at the very end and you put like some ketchup or sriracha on there to make it look like eyeballs. Um, never made it before, but we are trying it out. And the reason I picked this recipe is because I can prep it ahead of time. I'm going to go ahead and mix together my hash browns, cheese, sour cream, cream of chicken soup, some salt, pepper, and onion powder, and then lay some slices of Canadian bacon over top, and then just stick this in the fridge, and then in the morning I will pull it out and bake it so that it doesn't take as much time in the morning to like prep it and everything. Um, I have gone ahead and thawed out one whole bag of shredded hash browns. And then as I said, we've got some salt and pepper and onion powder, one can of cream of chicken soup, and I need about a cup of sour cream, about a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, and then 10 slices of Canadian bacon. So I'm going to mix everything together in my 9x13 except for the Canadian bacon, and then I will be back to show you what we're going to do with the bacon. Okay, I've got this all flattened out and basically we're going to take 10 slices of Canadian bacon and kind of press it into the hash brown mixture. Um, when we go to add our eggs after this bakes some, we're going to crack the eggs into these like pieces of Canadian bacon and it's going to like kind of keep them in that shape. So either do 10 or as many as you can fit in your pan. And then I'm going to just put a lid on this, stick it in the fridge overnight, which isn't necessary. You don't have to do that, but I just am choosing to do that so that I have less work to do in the morning, as I said. And then I will be back in the morning to let you know how long this is going to bake for. Okay, it is morning now and I'm gonna get this in the oven. So, 
because I made this overnight, this pan is obviously cold. So I do not preheat my oven whenever I am making a, a, a casserole, like a breakfast casserole, something that's been sitting in the fridge overnight. Because we don't want to stick this cold pan into a hot oven. So I'm going to stick it in my oven now. It's not preheated. It's cold. And then I'm going to turn on my oven. And then this can slowly come to temp while my oven comes to temp. It has always worked well for me doing it that way. So I will stick this in there and it's going to go at 350 and then the recipe says to cook it for 40 minutes but since I am putting it in there before the oven is preheated I'm going to do 50 minutes and then we'll pull it out at 50 minutes and add the eggs. Okay here's what this looks like after baking for 50 minutes. As you can see we still have like little cups for our eggs. Now the whole egg obviously isn't going to fit in this little piece of Canadian bacon. But we want to make sure we get like the yolk in there so it kind of like holds its spot. Um, I am going to press these down a little bit more into the hash brown casserole again and then I will crack an egg in each spot and then this is going to go back in the oven for between 20 and 25 minutes. Okay, here it is after 20 minutes. My eggs are perfectly set after 20 minutes, so I'm not gonna cook it any longer. Now we are going to add some red for the blood vessels. Um, we're gonna just kinda like go around the white part of the eye and add some. And for that, you could use hot sauce, sriracha, ketchup. I am choosing to use ketchup, and I have put some in a Ziploc bag, and I'm just gonna cut the tip off so I can get like really small lines. Um, and then this will be ready to eat. The kids thought that these looked amazing. They were like, oh my goodness, it looks like eyeballs. But when it came time to eat it, we almost had a meltdown because there was ketchup on the eggs and some of us did not want to try it. But once everything was cut up and mixed up and they were like, okay, it actually tastes good. I was like, it's hash brown casserole and you like ketchup. But we, we I like to keep it real with all y'all. We, uh, we almost did not did not get through these eggs because we almost had a meltdown. But everyone did end up liking it. It just isn't always sunshine and rainbows. My kids don't just always eat everything that I put in front of their face. Sometimes they do pitch a fit because there's ketchup on the eggs. <laughs> but I'm like, you guys, I'm not going to give you something I know you're going to hate. And they realized that. And everything was all good. These were delicious, absolutely delicious. The hash brown casserole with the Canadian bacon and eggs on top, very, very good. Even the little bit of ketchup. I would have preferred sriracha, but you know, had to keep it not spicy for the kids because they don't really like the flavor of sriracha very much. But um, that is going to be it for this Halloween. What's for breakfast this year? I love doing these. They are super fun to put together. Um, I'm going to try to do a Christmas themed one. So let me know down below if you want to see that. 
Um, the kids are definitely looking forward to a Christmas breakfast. But if you plan on trying any of these, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!